Higher education is nearly unattainable. The job market is in a major crisis. A former generation is responsible for the setbacks and the decline of the next. P.S. Thanks, Mom! Healthcare is just too damn high. Undocumented immigrants are being sent home by the thousands. There is severe racial divide going on right now. And there are people out there trying to make America great again by resurrecting dying markets. You might be thinking I'm talking about the current political climate that we're in. Oh, 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 oh you wish! I'm talking about a 1990 film story Corey Haim and Patricia Arquette called Prayer of the Roller Boys. Yeah. A film from the 1990s. In fact, at the beginning of 1990, this movie got dropped. Set in a futuristic Los Angeles, California. Probably close to the near future. Where, guess what? The entire country is open carry. Don't believe me? Corey Haim starts off the movie delivering pizzas, and part of what he's given, aside from the goofiest looking uniform, but he's not only given a goofy uniform and his stack of pizzas for the day, he's given an M16. Oh yeah, part of his uniform is a loaded weapon. And that's just to start the movie off. And then he's got the typical little brother, because they always have little brothers in these disenfranchised youth movies, especially when the whole scenario is there's that rebel leader trying to guide everyone through pirated airwaves and such, and he's a real smooth talker. And funny thing is, a lot like Kiefer Sutherland was in The Lost Boys, this Anglo-Saxon hero type rocks a mullet I don't know what it was about Corey Haim fighting guys with mullets, but this looks like it's going to become a thing following the rest of his career. But we'll do more research on that, won't we? Because we're all about fact-checking now, aren't we? We're about fact-checking now. <laughs> but in typical fashion, of course, he gets pulled into the gang, gets closer and closer, and if it weren't for the childhood friendship he has with the charismatic leader, it probably would have gone differently. But I love that just about everyone has their moment of acting and then the rest of the time they're just kind of backing off. Except for Haim. Haim seems to act throughout the whole movie. But like many films, in fact this might have been the prototype, it begins to suffer from 90's filmitis. It follows a recipe a little too well. Which is kind of upsetting because you had this great gimmick here with the whole rollerblading scenario. I mean, these are your villains. And it's funny how these guys are pretty much the alt-right at this time. Yeah. No, we're keeping that image up. That's the alt-right, people. Is that really intimidating? Is that really scary to you? Because honestly, I used to kick the shit out of those guys. So, you know, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not scared by this. Their message may be strong and the rope might be sturdy, but honestly, when this is our threat, I think we have more chance being attacked by vampires in our sleep. Oh, I probably shouldn't say that too loud, but hey, I mean, we're, we're still cool, right, King? Right? Fact of the matter is, Prayer of the Roller Boys hits a lot closer to home nowadays than we ever thought. So, you got some friends and it's showing in a theater near you, go check it out. And then, you can play a game called Watch the White People Squirm. So, say a prayer, because the future's coming. Oh, whew.
Well, I'm glad I got to vent a little bit with all that. Hopefully, if you actually like the video, it would be wonderful if you, well, liked the video. If you didn't like it, that's fine, too. It's still a free America for right now. If you want to subscribe, hey, growing numbers is kind of something that helps us out. And if you wear flannel and think I'm wrong because I have a penis, come on, leave a comment. I'll gladly shoot you down. For the rest of you, if you have some ideas of other things we should check out that inadvertently are insanely topical when all we ever wanted to do was just compare and contrast video games, read some comics, and joke about a movie or two. Just leave a suggestion. We'll check it out. Genre, series, whatever the case may be. Drop us a line. And if you don't mind helping me cut the rope, just remember, things are getting tough out there. You may not be able to do this alone. That's why we're here. And for fuck's sake, get behind the tank.